data structures and algorithm specialization. Currently, this is the most popular data structures and algorithms learning program on Coursera. I have to say the numbers are impressive. There have been over 300,000 enrollments. And the general score for this course series is 4.6 out of 5. But is this something you should try today for learning data structures and algorithms? My name is Daniel, and this time I am talking about the data structures and algorithm specialization on Coursera. And the things I am going to cover are Course Overview, Course Structure and Content, Pricing and Certification, Career Opportunities, and traditionally we will take a look at some student reviews. And I will let you know what I personally think about this course series. Also, guys, I will add all course-related links in the description down below, so feel free to check them out after watching this video. Ok, let's start! Course Overview Alright, guys, the authors of this course series believe you can only learn algorithms by programming them. And I couldn't agree more. That's why for that purpose, they have gathered a team of experts in theoretical and applied algorithms from the University of California, San Diego. And that's the first thing that makes this program different from others. The problem is, folks, that many other learning programs are designed by theoretical computer scientists. And as we all know here, theory can only take you so far. This is why this specialization offers a mix of algorithmic theory, practice and real-world applications. And of course, it focuses on software engineering. Here you will learn algorithms by solving nearly 100 coding problems in the programming language of your choice. And I would say for a specialization program, that's not too big. This is a lot of practice. But what's more, all these practical tasks will come in super handy during your tech interviews. In other words, my friends, be prepared that this specialization will make you work hard. Another thing to note here is that this program isn't small. Considering the number of challenging tasks, you won't be able to breathe through it in a couple of months. The good news is that it's self-paced. And based on some feedback I have seen, it usually takes students 6 to 8 months to complete it. Prerequisites. And here is one more important thing to know, folks. This program isn't designed for complete beginners. So, before you enroll, make sure that you have some basic knowledge of at least one programming language like C++, Java, Python, C, C Sharp, JavaScript, Haskell, Kotlin, Ruby, Rust or Scala. And it would also be helpful to have a basic understanding of discrete mathematics, including concepts like proof by induction and proof by contradiction. Instructors. As I mentioned earlier, this course was designed at the University of California. And there are five instructors for this specialization program. They all are algorithm and software engineering experts, with years of real-world experience. So, guys, you will be taught by real pros who know their stuff. Content Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel, if you enjoy the content I make. That's all. Alright, and now let's dive a bit deeper into this specialization's content. Well, this core series includes six courses. Here they are – Algorithmic Toolbox, Data Structures, Algorithms on Graphs, Algorithms on Strings, Advanced Algorithms and Complexity, and Genome Assembly Programming Challenge. Folks, every course in this program is pretty big. The shortest one takes 17 hours to complete, and the longest one takes a whole 40 hours. That's why they are all divided into smaller modules. There are 3 to 6 modules in each course. By the way, remember that I said this specialization will make you work hard? Each course comes with quizzes and programming assignments. So, you will have to test what you have learned at every step. Here you will get to have fun and sharpen your algorithmic skills with 50 puzzles on your smartphone. You will practice using algorithmic techniques like greedy algorithms, binary search, dynamic programming and more. And that's not all. You will also work with data structures such as stacks, queues, trees and graphs. All that to solve 100 programming challenges commonly seen in the high-tech company interviews. And on top of that, you will get instant feedback to know if your solution is correct. So, as you can see, this program is designed to get you very busy. And guys, it's pretty interactive too, which I think is really cool. Pricing and certification 
All right, let's answer the big question. How much does this course cost? Well, folks, it's not free. And honestly, offering it for free would be kind of strange. To sign up, you will need a Coursera subscription. The good news is that it's part of Coursera Plus. So, when you pay for this certification, you also get access to many other courses for free. And guys, I totally understand, months of subscription sounds like a lot. But based on some feedback I have seen, some people finish it much faster. Plus, it's definitely more affordable compared to the cost of a college degree. Now, let's talk about certification. When you successfully complete the entire certification program, you will also get a career certificate. And it can be a nice addition to your LinkedIn profile or your resume. But folks, let me be straight with you. In my opinion, the practical skills and knowledge you gain here are more valuable than the certificate itself. Based on my experience, employers are often more impressed by your professional knowledge and skills than the certificates you hold. Career opportunities So, as I am sure many of you wondering, does this program help you find a job? Well, guys, I can say that potentially it does. Because this course teaches you some solid skills. And that kind of knowledge can definitely boost your chances of finding a better paying job. On the other hand, it's not designed to prepare you for a job search. It's made to teach you some skills to add to your existing skill set. That's why, guys, it's completely up to you if you want to use it as a stepping stone in your career or just a way to extend your knowledge. In any case, it's likely you will need to take some other courses or learning programs. Moreover, according to my experience, some interview preparation will be necessary too, especially if landing a high-paying position is your goal. Student Reviews Alright, and now let's see what student reviews are like for this specialization program. There are currently over 13,000 reviews for it, and the general score of 4.6 stars out of 5 says that the majority of them are quite positive. And after going through some reviews, I can confirm that. Students seem to be quite happy with practical assignments. Many of them say that they are challenging but enjoyable and really help to test your skills and knowledge. For example, here is one of the 5-star reviews. Excellent assignments, a great capstone course to complete the data structures and algorithm specialization. The assignments make sure that you go back and revise the concepts you learned early in this specialization, as they need an in-depth understanding of the concept taught earlier. But be prepared to take some hardship. Spend that extra effort and break your brain in fine-tuning your solutions. Highly recommended. But guys, I found some criticism too. Some students note that assignments get too challenging sometimes. And there is lack of feedback from instructors. While I like the content of the course, but I felt too much of the topics were crammed into one single course. I had to struggle a lot to grasp the concepts on advanced algorithms by just relying on video lectures. So I had to look around in the internet for additional resources. Nonetheless, it was a satisfying experience through it. Took me a lot of time and effort to complete the assignments. Honestly, guys, I must say there are not many courses that don't make you look for some extra resources to read. And it's ok in the programming field. Is data structures and algorithm specialization worth it? Alright, my friends, let's answer the last question for this video. Should you spend your time, effort and money on this specialization program? And my answer to this question would be yes, definitely. Data structures and algorithms is an extremely important part of all tech interviews. And this program does a good job setting you up for success. Besides, I love how it's packed with challenging practical tasks. You will have to work a lot to complete it and that's great. So, if you don't mind spending the next 6 to 8 months of your life learning, I recommend that you grab this specialization on Coursera. Alright, my fellow developers, and that's all about my data structures and algorithm specialization review on Coursera. Don't forget to check out some useful links in the description down below, you might find some discount there. Make sure to like this video, subscribe on my channel, thanks for watching, until next time.